Now back to school means a lot more traffic on the road. As we look ahead to that big day tomorrow, Seattle's Transportation Department is working with Seattle Public Schools to make sure your kids get to class safely. King 5's Christine Pay is live at Olympic Hills Elementary in Seattle with more on those efforts. Christine. Yeah, so it's really been a year, right, since we've seen that busy back to school rush, really because of the pandemic. But starting tomorrow, some of that is returning to a certain degree as kids return and transition into in person learning. Now, everyone is urged to keep in mind that if you are in the school area, please slow down and watch out. Starting April 5th, these empty schools will once again see kids and teachers as Seattle Public Schools kindergarten to fifth grade transition into in person learning. It's a welcome return for many, but more kids mean more cars on the road. Anytime, you know, when there's school happening, people need to be careful. Nathan Gaylor lives near Olympic Hills Elementary in Seattle and appreciates that his kids will be able to walk to school, and he would like to see drivers slow down. The Seattle Department of Transportation agrees and is teaming up with Seattle Public Schools to create school streets. Those are one or two block portions of street next to school entrances that will be closed off to most vehicles to give space for parents to pick up and drop off their kids. The goal is to provide a safe space for kids to walk or bike to school, but it also provides more than enough space, more than six feet to allow for social distancing. School streets will be marked with street closed signs, so be prepared for minor detours during rush hour. So far, SDOT is planning school streets near Lowell, Emerson, Rocks Hill, and Olympic Hills Elementary Schools. It's part of a national push called Safe Routes to School that wants to make it easier and safer for students to walk or bike to school. Since 2020, SDOT finished more than 20 Safe Routes to School projects. This includes crosswalk improvements and speed bumps. Keep in mind the transition to in-person learning will create different start and end times throughout the day from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., meaning there could be foot traffic the entire day, not just the traditional morning and afternoon start times. You can't really be too careful, really, and there's plenty of other streets to take. Like People can drive like further from the school if they need to get around during the day. Now, Seattle police are also paying attention. They're going to be turning back on those school zone cameras. So if you are caught speeding in a school zone, you will be ticketed. Live in Seattle, I'm Christine Pei, King 5 News.